San Luis Potosi, commonly called SSLP, or simply San Luis, is the capital and most populous city of the Mexican state of the same name. The city lies at an elevation of 1,864 meters and has an estimated population of 825,000 in the city proper and a population of approximately 1.2 million in the metropolitan area. During the pre-colonial period, the southern and eastern regions of the state were occupied by Otomi and Huastec kingdoms. Its northern and central west regions, where the city of San Luis is now located, were inhabited by the Chichimeca. Chichimeca is a generic term given the various nomadic ethnicities, which inhabited the northern fringes of the Aztec Empire, which is now northern Mexico. As they were nomadic people, they did not build large cities nor have permanent settlements like most Mesoamerican civilizations. They are described by historians as very warlike people, living in continual wars amongst themselves. These tribes spoke different languages, but their customs were similar. After the arrival of Spanish conquistadors and their indigenous allies into the territory now formed by the Mexican nation, it still took them about a century to colonize the northern territories. When the settlers founded the first settlements in the region in the late 16th century, they had to struggle against constant attacks from the Guachichil tribes. Extremely belligerent, these tribes attacked traders who traveled to Zacatecas in newly created routes. Conquistadors and religious missionaries called the place where San Luis is now located El Gran Tunal, the grand place of tuna fruit. Finally, in 1589, peace between Chichimeca peoples and Spanish settlers was reached thanks to the efforts made by Miguel Caldera and brother Diego de la Magdalena, which marked the end of the Chichimeca War. A Franciscan mission was established in the zone in 1583, nine years before the city's founding. In early 1592, the mines of Cerro de San Pedro were discovered. The lack of water in Cerro de San Pedro made impossible a new settlement in that specific area, as well as the proper exploitation of the minerals. A short distance away, there was a valley where water was abundant. This originated the creation of a new township to facilitate the labors of mining extraction. The legal foundation of the town of San Luis Potosi was made in November of 1592. According to a charter commission raised by Viceroy Luis de Velasco and given to Miguel Caldera, considered the historic founder of the city. For a time in 1863, during the French invasion of Mexico, San Luis Potosi served as the capital of the Republican government under President Benito Juarez. The plan of San Luis Potosi, issued in November of 1910, was the opening shot of Mexico's revolution against the dictator Porfirio Diaz. The 1910 presidential election was stolen when Diaz had his opponent Francisco Madero arrested and imprisoned. Madero fled and issued the plan of San Luis Potosi, declaring the election void and calling upon Mexicans to take up arms against the government. Today the downtown is one of plazas and colonial architecture. The Plaza de Almas is the site of a cathedral and a governor's palace. The nearby Templo de Nuestra Señor del Carmen, with its colorful tiled domes and famous altars, is considered among Mexico's finest churches.
In addition, San Luis is home to the Bullring Plaza de Toros, Fermin Rivera. Outside the center, a modern industrial city has begun to grow. The Universidad Autónoma de San Luis Potosí is in the city, based on a Jesuit college founded in 1624. The Instituto Científico y Literario was raised to the category of a university in 1923 and is recognized as one of Latin America's best universities. San Luis is now the 12th largest metropolitan area in Mexico. The city is a major commercial and industrial center. It lies in an economical advantageous area at the heart of the Triangle, formed by the three largest cities in Mexico, being Mexico City, Guadalajara, and Monterrey. In recent years, the city has attracted the attention of European and American investors. Its political, social, and economic stability have convinced large multinational companies to assume a presence there and to buy land. Recently, according to a survey conducted by the magazine The Investor, San Luis Potosi and its metropolitan area were the third best place to live in Mexico. Besides its industry-based economy, Recently, the city has been promoted as a touristic destination in central Mexico by state and federal programs. San Luis Potosi's historic center displays a great mixture of different artistic styles in many buildings and is a major example of colonial architecture in Mexico. In 2010, the historic center was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site within the Camino Real de Tierra Adentro or Mexico's Silver Route. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I have many more videos of this part of Mexico in the playlist that is linked in the description below this video. You'll also find a link to another playlist of when I bicycled through Mexico. That was part of a larger trip, bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Central and Eastern Europe, and I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through, available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I've been and all the things that I got to see and do, I have that interactive map available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. where you can click on the different locations and see all the blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Mexico and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.